Today I'm talking about the diligent person. And we're looking at Proverbs chapter 21, verse 5. The plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty, but those of everyone who is hasty surely to poverty. So what does it mean to be diligent? Diligence means to be enthusiastic about your work and to be methodical, to be focused on your work and to be committed to the work. So a person who is diligent approaches their work with passion and hard work. And that is the person that the Bible says that their work will surely lead to plenty. Many times in the Bible, the wise person is also called a diligent person. And there are four things about a diligent person that I want to share with you, and I hope that it helps all of us to be diligent in what we do. Uh, the first thing is that a diligent person accepts challenges. It is the mark of wisdom for a person to accept challenges. And when a person is diligent, they don't run away from a situation because it's hard, it's difficult, it's impossible, nobody has done it before, I can't do it. You know, some people just disqualify themselves before they even try. So to be diligent is to approach a challenge with enthusiasm, to set out and say, oh, I'm going to do it. It's hard, but I'm going to do it. That's the first thing about a diligent person. They accept challenges. Secondly, that a diligent person designs solutions for problems. They understand that it's hard, it's difficult, but it has an answer. Every question has an answer. Every problem has a solution. If you don't know it, somebody else does. So if you don't know it, then go seek for more knowledge. Go and talk to somebody who has done it before, mix, do some research, make some inquiries, and try to figure out how to do it because you can't solve problems all by using what you know. Sometimes you have to borrow what other people know to help you do what you have to do. And that is diligence. Even the whole process of research and, and reading and learning is part of diligence. So you have to be a person who looks for solutions for problems. That's diligence. Thirdly, a diligent person anticipates obstacles to their plans. So when a person is diligent, they don't just sit down, make a plan, and just think, oh, it's all going to work out well because I've thought through it, I've made all the plans, and, and everything's going to work out well. No, a diligent person knows that no matter how good or how well they plan, things will definitely go wrong. No matter how well you plan, something is going to go wrong. Something will not go according to plan, and you have to anticipate it. It's like playing a game of chess. When you're playing a game of chess, uh, or any uh, game that involves strategy, you don't just think about what you're doing. You have to anticipate what your opponent will do. So when you play a certain move, you have to anticipate that this person has the option to counteract in these ways. So there are people who just make up their plans and think that because they've put it right on paper and it looks so well on paper, it's going to work well in real life. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. So a diligent person anticipates obstacles to their plans. And they work towards the obstacles. And number four, a diligent person works hard to implement what they have set themselves to solve. So when there are obstacles in the way, they don't just give up and cry and say, well, I tried it, it didn't work, you know, nobody likes me, nobody supports me, nobody uh, encourages me. One of the things you have to know about life, nobody is obliged to encourage you. That's why David learned to encourage himself. If you're waiting for people to pat you on the back, to lift you up, to urge you on, you may be very disappointed in life. It's good if you have them, but life doesn't produce too many of those people. Once in a while, you have an encourager, but most times, you're going to be surrounded by discouragers. All of us have to work our way through discouragement, and that requires diligence. 
and a diligent person accepts challenges, develops solutions to problems, anticipates obstacles to their plans, and then they implement what they have set themselves to do. You are a diligent person. I can see that. Be diligent for the Lord. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to be diligent in all that I do. I commit to do my work thoughtfully and thoroughly. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.